Of local students put their coding skills to the test for a robotics showcase. New tonight, as Fox 46's Annie Satowski tells us, it's the first time they've been, they've been able to work together in person in more than a year. There's a lot of moving parts to a robot. This is a touch sensor. And as soon to be seventh grader Panag Sankavali will tell you, lots of outside factors at play too. It like senses walls or anything in the way. This is Panag's second DigiBridge competition, a time to showcase students' coding, programming, and problem solving skills. We're excited to see everything that you've learned over the past several weeks online. The program got rolling in 2019, but didn't get the chance to build much momentum. We had a great uh, competition in, in February 2020, right before the pandemic. So we had to switch everything to virtual very quickly. So Alyssa Sharp, DigiBridge's CEO, partnered with Aparo, another nonprofit that helps connect groups with the tech and resources they need, like laptops. A lot of kids lost access to technology when other programs shut down. So we were, help, we were able to help bridge that gap. It's how Panag is able to code his robot and tell it what to do. So we have to take a, the cube from the black square push it into the blue square. Then you have to move the crane so the blue uh, the cube lands on top of the other cube. He says being back with the other kids makes the day more fun. What if we push this forward? It's an opportunity Sharp says many of these kids from Charlotte's Title I schools might not have otherwise. We believe that every student should have essential digital literacy skills and that really starts with coding and programming. And while there's no winners or losers in the showcase, organizers hope students will gain something much more valuable than a trophy. It awakens their love of science, of math, of coding, and it inspires them for their future careers. Annie Satowski, Fox 46.